Okay. We're about to watch this, man. Uh, this is by The Cut. And it's titled 100 Moms. How far would you go to protect your child? I expect every mother in this video to say death or murder is how far I would go. Because I know that as a father, if I was a father, that's exactly how far I would go. That's what I would do as a father. So I can only imagine, at least I hope, that the mothers would give the same response. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. I cool. Know. He just gives me a little smile and a giggle, and I'm like, I'll do anything. Are you a mom? I am a mom. I have two kids. I have five. My husband has four. We have nine. Whoa, Damn. baby. How old are they? He is almost eight months. 23 and 21. That's how old you look. Damn, yeah, dude, I was about to say 23, 21. When did you have kids, girl? When you were like 15? It looks like she's like 30. Maybe even younger, like 27. Right? Do you love them? Well, you know, sometimes they're little shits, but you gotta love them anyway. That's every We're making this video in partnership with Netflix to promote their new film, The Mother. I'd commit heinous war crimes if it meant my kids would be safe. See, that's what I'm saying. Jennifer Lopez, an assassin, comes out of hiding to protect her daughter she left earlier in life. Would you kill for your kid? Would I kill for my kid? Yeah. Girl, you better say yes. Oh. Kill somebody? Yeah. <sighs> oh, gosh. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Would you kill for your child to protect them? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, thank my girl. My girl. Come on, man. Finally. Fucking finally. And she said it without hesitation, too. She's like, no fucking doubt. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Like, I just want to see it again. Finally, someone gave a real answer. All these other ladies are just like, I don't know, a life for... Man, bitch, if you don't stop all this procrastinating. That's why y'all need to provide y'all's kid with, hopefully, a strong male figure. Because if you're not sure whether you would kill for your kid or not, uh, I'm not even sure if you deserve your kid. Because that's 100% unequivocal for, like, there's, there's no doubt that I would. I'm not even a father. But... I had a kid just like, I mean, yeah, dude, goddamn. But that's 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 a e that's a easy choice. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Would you kill for your child to protect them? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Absolutely. No. No. <laughs> uh, maybe. That's a bad mom. She didn't even say, "Oh, I don't know" or "Oh, maybe" or "Oh, if circumstances dictate" or "Oh, if the opportunity is there and I seize it" or like Oh, if I'm on some fu fucking female action hero type shit, then maybe. She flat out said no. Fuck that little shit. You can have him. Whatever. I'll go make another one. You're a bad mom. Is that, a, is that an answer? Hold on. Absolutely. No. No. <laughs> uh, maybe? Is that, a, is that an answer? Maybe. I'll take maybe over, what, over the past one. She's flat out just said no. I wouldn't kill for you, little Timmy. Sorry. Fuck you, bro. Like... As soon as that, as soon as that, that mask for air compression drops in the plane, I'm putting on mine first. And if another one doesn't drop, I'm not giving you mine, Timmy. So you, you better find, so you better, you better find, you better find a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. And, uh, I knew I should have named you Will. Crazy. Maybe. I'm willing to do whatever it takes as long as it's legal. I mean, it'd take a lot. Willing to do whatever it takes as long as it's legal. Jesus Christ. Ugh, that's like, dude, fuck legality. You fuck with my offspring. That's, I'm, I'm changing your pronouns to past tense. Wow, like that's a big thing to do. I'm not just gonna go out and randomly kill people. <laughs> that's not what we're asking. Jeebus. Definitely. Yeah, yeah of course. We wouldn't think all the black girls are down, bro. All the white ladies are just like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Seems kind of illegal. Seems kind of like, you know, people would look down on me. Bitch, it's your child. Oh, no, bro. That's, that's, that's just. <laughs> just gonna go out and randomly kill people. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, of course. We wouldn't think twice. Absolutely. Why is that so easy to answer? Because, like, if I don't, who will? I almost exactly. died having them. 
so I'll kill for them. Just like hey, dude, I like that answer. I almost died having them. I will kill for them. Yeah, man. And not to mention, like, I just... I hate that there were some females on here that straight up said no or straight up, like, scoffed at the idea. Because it's just like, bro, you spent nine months making that thing. That is a whole ass part of you. You created that. You made that. Like, you can't tell me that if you spent a whole ass year painting this beautiful mural, this beautiful painting, this beautiful work of art, and then one of these just stop oil motherfuckers came in there and threw orange paint on, threw orange paint on it, you can't tell me that you wouldn't turn around and at the very least slap them across the fucking face. Like, they just destroyed something that you worked very hard on, that you spent a lot of time on and effort, and they either ruined it, wrecked it, tried to ruin it, and you're gonna do nothing? Man, hell no. Nah. That's like, that's, that, that's a weak parent, bro. Absolutely not. John, what's up, dude? Like, mom to the rescue, double up the cape because we already wear one. Would you kill for your child? No. No. I don't think I would kill for my children, but I do think I would be mouthy enough that somebody might, uh... Oh, yes, yeah, you're a Karen. I'm not gonna kill for my kids. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write a letter, yes. I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write a very, I'm gonna type out a very strongly worded email to your mother, little Bobby, for fucking with my kid. Yeah, or, or anyone for that matter, Jesus Christ. Murder me standing up for my children. <laughs> you don't think these things through when you do them, right? It's your mom instinct, your mama bear will come out. If he was in danger, I would protect him. Mama bear style. Yeah, mama bear, cool. but mama bear mode goes on real hard with me. So in the right circumstances, yeah, if I'm gonna save my kid's life, I'm gonna do it. Like what's the most mama bear thing you've had to do? Uh, I haven't had to do anything too crazy. Okay, well I have had altercations, but it wasn't my fault. <laughs> there have been situations where you had to- He brought one of these hoes to the house and she got fucking lippy with me. And I told her who runs this bitch. <laughs> and she called the cops. <laughs> to step in. Well, my daughter, she is openly gay. I have defended her. I have kept her safe. My oldest is trans. Mm. And uh, there's been a lot of bullying. Would you cuss out a kid for your kid? I actually did it at a pool one time. Bro, I would hit a kid for my kid. What do you mean? <laughs> Look, it just, it, just, it just depends, man. I mean, you never know the situation. <laughs> Wow, I answered that way too fast. And uh, there's been a lot of bullying. Would you cuss out a kid for your kid? I actually did at a pool one time. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, you little shit, get away from my kid right now. <laughs> yes, I went Karen, full Karen on them. <laughs> there have been like little moments on the playground, but I can't fight a child, Yeah. So. See, I understand that. Like this mom right here, I do understand that even though I'm not a parent. Like you see these things, man, these small little instances where like a kid may push your kid a little too hard or uh, may, may get a little too physical with your kid or something like that. And you feel a certain kind of way about it because it's just like, yo, that's my fucking kid. Stop fucking with him. Otherwise, I'm going to come over there and I'm going to treat you like my kid, God damn it, you know, so. Little moments on the playground but I can't fight a child, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> we don't, we don't want to get into a situation where I'm beating you up and I'm beating your parents up. <laughs> almost beat up another parent. Her hey, y'all, yeah, my mom almost, almost got into a fight with another parent one time. It, w it was at a baseball game and it was hilarious, man. It was fantastic. <laughs> Her son kept And it was all over me. Hitting my daughter and she's like, oh, they're just playing. And I'm like, ma'am, hello, do you want me to hit you like that? <laughs> and she's like, oh, well, we'll just leave. How far have you had to go to protect your kid? Like a physical fight. Who'd you have to fight? A family member. I have cut my parents off. I had to um, fight my child's father. I was in a domestic violence uh, situation and I had to make the decision to actually step away from that. He was abusive towards her when she was two and a half months old. And that kind of was like, no, what am I doing? Yeah, dude, who the hell is ab ab abusive to a two month old? Jesus Christ, that's like kicking a puppy. That's when I left. What would you say to someone who was trying to message your kid? Why the fuck would you try to do that? Fuck off. Fuck off. Back the fuck up. Back the fuck off. It's hard to do without a smile <laughs> though, because it's awkward right now. Get the fuck away from my kids. Yo, I'm genuinely afraid of that lady. That was very potent. 
<laughs> but that's what that's the attitude you need to have as a parent. Like that's just it. That's why like that's why parents always have you ever noticed how like sometimes parents always look mad, but they're not, right? It's because they're in parent mode. They're in protection mode. They're in focus on watching after my child mode and making sure I don't lose this little motherfucker because this is a ginormous responsibility. So they like always look upset even if they're not upset. They're not upset, bro. They're just focused because that's the that's the attention to detail that you need when you're raising a child and not just raising a child, but protecting your child, right? From anything and everything. If somebody was like physically trying to harm her, I would just start swinging. There'd be no words. We don't have time for that. Well, I mean, for some of you, I, I, I would, I would recommend a weapon, right? Because if the person trying to fuck with your kid is a full grown ass man, it doesn't matter how hard you think you're swinging. Reality is going to dictate that you'll more than likely get your ass whooped. So maybe a weapon for a lot of you, right? But hey, yeah, I, I agree with your sentiment and your uh, your energy. It's one thing you want your kid to remember about you. That I will do anything that it takes to to take care of him or protect And you know what? A lot of the women that said no in this video, <clears throat> they say no, but you would be surprised what you're capable of when you're put into a tense, impossible situation. You'll be surprised the decisions that you can make when you're put into an impossible situation or a hard situation where difficult choices need to be made. You would be really surprised what you're capable of. So to all these ladies that said no, maybe that's just like their normal, like gut instinct is to say that, but you get put in that situation, I guarantee that most, if not all of them would say, fuck what I said earlier, I'm demolishing you. I'm ending you by any means necessary, so. Him, that I did my best and hopefully that I was a good mom. I wasn't perfect, but I tried the best and they were always loved. Hope that they always remember that mommy loves him. That I love him. Just as simple as that. As long as he knows my love, that's all he needs. What's something you want your kid to remember about you? My hustle, my resilience, my persistence. I always accepted them and held space for them to be themselves. Uh. One thing I want her to remember about me is how much I loved her and um, how passionate I am about being her mom. Do better than me. Be better than me. They are better than me. So, you know, the Fantastic. world is yours. Hopefully those ladies have uh, a strong male figure in their household because if you're not going to kill for your kid, he, at the very least, I know for a fact, will. So, um, hopefully you have that. Hopefully the ladies that did say no, they have... They have a partner at home that is perfectly capable of picking up the slack in that regard.